Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make individual cheesecakes and this is what it looks like. On the bottom you have a graham cracker crumb crust and then we have this wonderfully smooth and creamy cheesecake filling. So we are going to start by making our graham cracker crust. So you will need one cup, which is 100 grams of graham cracker crumbs. Now you can actually buy graham cracker crumbs, but I prefer to take the whole graham crackers and to crush them. I don't know why, but I just think it tastes better. So for one cup, you will need about six and a half of these graham crackers. Now to crush them, you could do them in your food processor if you happen to have one. If not, then just put them in like a plastic bag and then I just take like my rolling pin and just kind of bang it and crush them that way. Now I'm going to do something a little different. You can use graham crackers, but my personal favorite is to use digestive biscuits. If you've never tried them, I think they taste better than graham crackers, but that's just pers uh, personal preference. And if you live in the States, you know, typically before you couldn't find the uh, digestive biscuits very easily, but now I find they're in every grocery store I go to. You can typically find them on the international foods in the British section, or you can buy them online. And for this, you will need, for this size, about seven of these. Again, you could crush them in your plastic bag. I am going to make it easy on myself, and I'm going to use my food processor. So I'm just going to kind of break them up a little. And then I'm going to just process this until they're fine, nice and fine. That looks pretty good. You got some, if there's any larger pieces, you can just kind of with your fingers. And now you will need somewhere between four and five tablespoons. That's 55 to 65 grams of melted butter. You can use salted or unsalted, whatever you have in the house. The reason I say that you may need four to five and not an exact amount, it depends. Like if you're either your, your graham crackers or your digestive uh, biscuits. If they're really fresh, you may get away with like the four tablespoons, about 55 grams, but you know, if they're a little, little old, then, then they're dry, you may need a little more butter. So that's why I say, I'm gonna start with about four and see how that holds together. Now, if you were doing that by hand, you would just take your crushed digestive biscuits or graham crackers, put them in a bowl, and then add your butter and then just stir it. But if you have your food processor, make it even easier. So. Now, there, you have enough butter is when you take it and you kind of put it in your hand and it's like that, <laughs> just a nice ball there, and that's enough butter. I'm just going to, so you can see what I'm doing here, move everything out of the way. I'm just gonna put it into a bowl so I don't have to fight that blade. And then what we're gonna do is you will need a 12 cup muffin pan lined with paper liners. I find it a lot better to put the paper liners in, especially when you're making these cheesecakes. It's much easier to get them out of the pan and to, um, to eat. <laughs> so. You will need, I just have a tablespoon here. You will need about one tablespoon for each one. So just put it in the bottom and then I just take, use my spoon, just press it down into an even layer. Make sure it's 
really press down. So that's what I'm going to do. And then once I've filled all of them, I'm just going to put my pan into the refrigerator and that will set our uh, graham cracker or the just a biscuit crust. Maybe, you know, have them in the fridge maybe 10 minutes. And when you do that, you also want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 150 degrees Celsius. And then when we come back, we will make our cheesecake filling. So now for our cheesecake filling. If you have a stand mixer like I have here, use your paddle attachment. You could also use a hand mixer to make the batter. You could use your food processor, or you could even do it by hand in a large bowl with a wooden spoon. The first thing that you will need is two eight ounce packages, which is one pound, which is 450 grams. Uh, you want the full fat cream cheese and have your cream cheese at room temperature. Just Put that right in there, along with two-thirds of a cup, which is 135 grams of granulated white sugar. I also like to add just a touch, like a half a teaspoon of grated lemon zest, just a little. I mean, you could leave it out, but I find it just kind of heightens all the flavors, just brings out the flavors of everything. You only like just get a tiny hint because you know half a teaspoon isn't very much so you don't get much uh, lemon flavor just a hint now when you uh, grate your lemon first take your lemon wash it and then if you have one of these zesters or you could use a box grater just the fine grater and when you grate just the yellow part don't grate this white underneath because that's quite bitter so you just want to make sure that you get just the yellow part. You could also use a little bit of lemon zest or orange zest. I think that would be very good as well. And then for flavoring, I like to add one teaspoon, four grams of pure vanilla extract. If you don't want a vanilla flavor, just leave it out. Now I'm going to beat this just to combine, get the, your cream cheese nice and smooth and get everything combined. You do not want to have your mixer on high speed. Have it at low speed because Cheesecakes are, have a dense texture. That means we don't want to beat a lot of air into the filling. So just keep it on low. And you'll have to stop quite a bit because cream cheese is kind of sticky and it sticks to your paddle. So you have to periodically stop and scrape it down. Okay, so next we are going to add two large eggs. That would be 100 grams of eggs. Have your eggs at room temperature. I'm going to add one, beat that in, low speed still, and then beat in the second one. And we just have one last ingredient. The great thing about cheesecakes, they are, <laughs> the batter is easy to make. And I especially like doing the individual because typically if you make a large one, it takes, I don't know, probably around an hour at least to bake. These ones really fast, like I think it's 18 to 22 minutes. So, you know, press for time. This is a what you want to make. So the last ingredient is a half a cup, 120 milliliters, 120 grams of sour cream. And have your sour cream at room temperature. I'm actually using the full fat. So these cheesecakes are going to be wonderfully <laughs> creamy, smooth, and rich. I have used reduced fat. It's still pretty good. Not as good because not as much fat, but <laughs> if you want to, you can do that. So I'm just going to. Now, if you were using the reduced fat, 
drain it off because usually there's a little water there. Just drain that off before you add it. So I'm just going, again, low speed, I'm just going to beat that in. Okay, we're done. So, I'm just going to make sure everything's mixed together here. And then we're just going to evenly divide our filling amongst the uh, muffin cups. You can use two spoons. I find like this cookie scoop, ice cream scoop, whatever you want to call it. This is about a quarter of a cup. I find um, that's about the right size, about a quarter of a cup. But the, the important thing is to have the same amount of cheesecake filling in each one so then they bake all at the same length of time. So that's... And then just to make sure it's, it's evened out in each muffin cup. Okay, and my last one here. Scrape that out. Don't want to waste any. So now, Everyone's oven is a little different. So I'm going to say, like I said before, 18 to about 22 minutes. I do like to uh, rotate my um, pan about front to back, about halfway through baking. That'll make sure it's nice and even baking. Just going to smooth these tops a little. So what are you looking for? Um, time is one thing, but most importantly is when you... Um, look at them they will be set but the centers will still be a little wet and if you kind of like if you shook the pan if you see now they're really wobbly they'll just be a little wobbly in the center and a little wet looking so that's the way i like it so i'm going to say you know check them even maybe a little before 18 minutes just in case your uh, oven is running a little hot so 18 to 22. Our cheesecakes are done. So I just shake the pan. They're just a little wobbly just in the center. So what you want to do now is put your pan on a wire rack. Let them cool down to room temperature. And then what I like to do is I take the, the muffin pan and put it into the uh, refrigerator. I don't cover it right away. What I do is I let them chill down, you know, maybe an hour and then I cover it with the pan with plastic wrap. I don't cover it right away just in case, you know, they're not quite cooled down to room temperature. You don't want to get any condensation on the top of your cheesecake, so that's why I put them in uncovered about an hour and then. Uh, you want to, I mean, you can serve them the same day. I would let them chill, you know, four to six hours. Preferably though, I do like to chill them overnight. I think with cheesecakes, it takes time for the flavor to develop, so overnight is best. You can store these in the fridge, you know, they last that long, um, for around four days. What is great about these, you can freeze them. And you know, a lot of times you have a large cheesecake, it's too much. I mean, you can freeze a large one too, but these ones are so perfect. If you have a small family, you know, you can ha have a few and then freeze them. And then when somebody wants one, they just take it out of the, the freezer. Wonderful. Uh, so I made some yesterday and this is what it looked like. Now you can serve them with the paper liners and then people can just peel them back. Or sometimes, like if you were doing a buffet, you, what you might want to do is take, you know, the paper liners off and then just have it like that. I just think they're so cute. You can just uh, eat them by itself, which, 
or some fresh berries. Uh, fruit sauces are good, uh, you know, like uh, I have various ones on the site. Lemon curd would be really good. You go to the joybacon.com website or our YouTube channel. I have lemon curd. I have a strawberry compo. I have a blueberry sauce. There's a chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce, <laughs> you know. Or I'm just going to eat it just like this. You can pick it up and just eat it. Fingers. I'll, I'll be proper here and have a fork. Oh. That's our dog. She likes cheesecake too. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. It's dense. It's creamy and smooth. A little bit of tang from that cream cheese. And I really like the crust digestive biscuits. If you've never tried digestive biscuits, you know, go find some, order some, and try it. You might like it better than graham cracker. But either way, they're really good. Like I said, you must try these. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.